Hey everybody, Mike again. That last video left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know if it's my ADHD or if it's just I'm, I just had to actually show a completed project of some kind. So I decided to try something completely different. I'm gonna clone a website using root code. I mean, let's go for it, right? Now, when you're in your VS code, you wanna go to your extensions and you just type in root code. It'll be right there. Just go ahead and click install a hacker news clone because I don't know if you've ever been to Hacker News. It's a very simple website and I wanna clone it and make it look nicer. Granted, I have nothing wrong with the site the way it looks now. Go ahead and switch to Rue Code. I did take a picture of it. So I added a picture of this, the website, to Rue Code. So I'm basically giving it the simple prompt of, I would like to create a Hacker News, a clone of Hacker News, but it would be called Slacker News. <laughs> What else do we want to say? I'm trying to make this as simple as possible for like if somebody else were just to jump on this and try playing with it. I think I'll leave it at that and I'm going to use their magic prompt button, which is this right here. So this enhances the prompt. So let's see what happens when I click it. I'm seeking to develop. <laughs> wow. A satirical tech news aggregator. That's better than anything I could prompt. So once again, you saw how I gave it a simple prompt. I hit the magic button. And of course, I want to do architect architect first. I want it to see, do all the architecture part of it first and see what we get from that. I did have some people tell me that maybe I should be trying open router in 3.7. Let's see what happens. So it said, I see we're starting with a clean slate. I like how it's using lazy purple, procrastination orange. <laughs> A worse sense of humor than I do. I also want to bring up too that some people were telling me that I should use the 3.7 sonnet to do this part with the architecture and then use something like Gemini for the coding. In my history with using Gemini right now is not the greatest. I haven't yet to build anything substantial with Gemini. I don't even know if I want to go down that route. It's dirt cheap. It would probably cost me a penny. And see, if we go to the file structure, you can see right now, all we have are the MD files. I've done nothing else. Finally done creating all of its .md files. I would like to mention right here though, that if you were going to design a website for a customer, you get the general idea from the customer of what they want. Give it to this, give it to the architect, and then you'll get all of this crazy stuff. Like you could have the customer tell you what colors it wants, and then you tell the architect, here, our colors, ask about logos, typography, and then just have row code with the architect feature build all this for you, you know, and then you can have all the visuals and you know, this is the type of the stuff you could give to the customer. Like, well, here's what we're looking like. You don't have to tell them it takes an hour to build a website. You can tell them it's going to take a week. It's like, hey, this first thing is going to take a week. This second thing is going to take two weeks. You know, you give them the project overview and say, you know, here's what I plan on doing. I mean, these are very good files. I would have no issues giving these to a customer saying, hey, here's what we're doing. Please approve. Please disapprove. Please tell me I suck whatever did mention though is we didn't give it any design kind of created its own design product based on the picture but now it's asking me if you're ready to begin building the mvp version of slacker news switch to code mode and start implementing with htm before i do that i'm going to go ahead and throw a curveball in here and see if it can for later down the road i want to be able to hook up a database and some type of authorization authorization so I'm going to ask it that and see what happens. I am not the best coder. I am not the best at talking to these things. But so I just basically asked. So after we build this MVP mockup, you know, I would like to implement a database, super base for keeping track of users. And also later on, can we add something like Google login OAuth? I'm going to hit the magic prompt. Enhance. What was that from? Enhance. Let's see, I need to implement. Additionally, can we please incorporate? See, I like that. I'm going to give this to the architect again. I'm not going to give this to the coder. So let's just send this message and see what happens. So as you can see right away, it's going ahead and updating the roadmap. I love that procrastination as an art form, deliberately over engineering solutions, work avoidance strategies, tech enabled time wasting. Ah, the pursuit of maximum results with minimum effort. I didn't even tell it to make anything this ridiculous. It's, it's kind of did put authentication and database plan at the end, which thank you. So hopefully it won't come into, the, it won't be an issue when it first starts building this. We got to this point, it's detailed everything. The nice thing too, is as you can see the database and authentic authentication are now at the end. So hopefully it won't get caught up trying to build the database before it builds the rest of the the site. I'm going to try to use 3.7 Sonnet. I do want to mention this took about 
16, 17 minutes for all this, and it costs 63 cents. I say we hit code, and let's go. Code it. So actually, I think I have it set to switch modes on its own. Yeah, see, there it goes. Ro wants to switch to code mode. Just switch to code mode, and now it's going to start building our website. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> it added this basic meh function, which I think is hilarious. And then it has a hide function that works 80% of the time by design. <laughs> oh, this is getting bad. We're almost 20 minutes in. We're at a dollar. This is expensive using Claude 3.7. Any Claude is more expensive than almost every other API right now. Quality over cost or cost over quality. I could be using Gemini. I've had nothing but issues with Gemini. I'm just going to let this run. We'll see what happens. Now, I did notice it went right to going to the sign up pages right here. And I'm hoping I don't have to go ahead and get all the Google and Superbase stuff done. I didn't want to mess with that yet. I just wanted it to build a basic website to start with. If we learn anything from this. If it does ask me, then we'll know not to add that till the end. So hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully. I did find a actual slacker news. <laughs> just for... I don't know what it's actually about, but... I actually found it online. Just thought it was funny. I think one mistake I've already made is I did call it an MVP product. It looks like it's creating mockups and the actual site at the same time. We'll have to see what that looks like. And something I just want to bring in here, if you notice at the beginning of this page, it has all these links in here instead of creating components and just pulling in the components that way. So I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, I don't know. All right, we just hit the 25 minute mark on this project. I have still yet to have to do anything. I've just been sitting here. Oh, look at that. But we just hit, we're about to hit $2. We're at 25 minutes doing the favorite thing that I love that it does where it opens up a browser and it, it checks the website. It like crawls the website looking for errors. You can see that it, it already found an error. I see it by clicking this, that there was an error, created a file. Oh, look at that. Oh, the night mode is working correctly. This is awesome. The fact that it goes on the website, crawls around, clicks on things, makes sure things are working. I mean, this alone is worth its price in gold. <laughs> now it's actually giving, a, giving it a meh vote. It's going onto a site. <laughs> See, when I click the meh button, so it says, you know, the incremental feature is working. So it went from 42 to 43. Checking that the navigation on the home page, back to the home page. So that's working. So now it's testing the login function. The login link is working. So now it's going to test the signup link to say it takes to the signup page. It actually did. This is just the best part of this. And the only thing I'm starting to get worried about is our context window up here. You know, once we start to get over 100,000, I always get a little weary. Um, so far, the tokens seem to be fine. I don't know if you guys are reading what this stuff is, but it's absolutely hilarious. At 28 minutes in, it basically said that we are done, except we still need to do a bunch of stuff, it looks like. So let's see, what did it do? Created an index page, a styles page, minimalistic design, a meh voting system, a hide functionality that works 80% of the time. And it's, see, it said testing results. So this is what I love. It does its own testing. You know, navigation worked, the night mode worked, the meh function worked, forms have basic and redirect. So the next step is outlined in the next phase would be for user authentication, database storage, real voting, and user profile with Slack points. So right now it wants to open up the website, which we're going to do. Let's see what we got. So there we go. So here's our brutally crazy website, <laughs> 420 meh. Why I automated my job. We got guidelines, FAQ, contact, search, or don't, whatever. <laughs> there's night mode. There's day mode. So if we click on a link, nothing happens, which is what I expected. Oh, it just took a minute. How to look productive in Zoom meetings while actually playing Minecraft. And you can see it gave it a bunch of that stuff. Add your comment or don't. No pressure. I think this is pretty freaking ridiculous. <laughs> to made it effort level. Oh, login. So obviously Google's not working. We haven't set that up yet. Okay, so where are we at? So it says it, it can do a fav, favicon by be generated by opening this in my browser. And I hit my rate limit. So I tried to ask it one more thing and I got the rate limit. So once again, it's acting like this is on me with Anthropic, which 
when I was doing my Klein website, I didn't have this issue. That's so weird. Okay, so basically I had to go into my code and actually click on. So here's all the code, right? I had to click on this to open it. And then it says to save the file and the favor con will be automatically updated. Can I just drag it in here? Ah, oh, look at that. So there's our favor con. Favicon, Fav still getting the rate limit. Okay, I'm just in a death loop now. So I got the the Favicon. There it is. It's all working. I don't know what you're trying to do now. I am stuck in the the loop again. Of so I closed out the last chat. Tell the told it to start over. Let's see what happens. Well, not start over, but I told it. I told it to continue. So I think we're gonna do the OAuth and probably the super base. We'll see. So the cool thing is that it sees that according to our roadmap, we've completed phase one and ready to move to phase two, which is an interactive, oh, front end. Right away, it wants to begin with phase three. Now, I am just curious if we go to, oh, and if anybody's wondering why I keep saying MVP, it's a minimum viable product. Phase one is the MVP. And so I think it said it wanted to start on phase two, but it wants to do the super base, super base integration which considering I'm already having issues with, with how, many, how much context I can use, I'm seriously doubting I want to try to even start to do that. I think that's too much for this. I mean, I would love to show this next part, but I'll have to think about that. But all in all, I think we got a pretty cool little simple website. And I wanted to show you how just creating a simple website like this by giving it a picture, gave it a few prompts, and just let it run. I got a completed product. I hope you like it. I want to continue this. Uh, after the context issues are fixed, like it, subscribe if you like. If you feel like it, no pressure, according to Slacker News here. So, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Have a good one.